So I wanted to show you just a brief um, video here, and this will be it for the day. Uh, you know, while I never worked directly in intelligence in the uh, U.S. military, I did serve in three branches, the Marine Corps, Army, Air Force. But I did work closely with a lot of uh, U.S. intelligence uh, you know, on many occasions. And, uh, and I tell you what, some of them were some pretty evil bastards, let's just say. Uh, they held no respect for me whatsoever as a common soldier. But I just wanted to show you how... Um, you know, Russia, they've had the KGB, I mean, when you think back to the Soviet Union, they've had nothing but tremendous experience with uh, propaganda. Uh, but the thing is, at this, at this point, from what I can tell, they got truth on their side. <laughs> and that's the best propaganda of all. All we have is lies. So let's just watch a couple of uh, quick little clips here. Uh, this is the first one. I uh, thought this was very interesting. So this is what's being broadcast around the world. Now understand, I know that the American people are not seeing any of this stuff. Uh, this is Russian television, but it's viewed uh, in, well, about 70% of the world uh, very easily. Um, but not, of course, in the Western nations like, well, certainly not in Great Britain or, um, or Germany or any of the really truly censored countries. Uh, at least we have a little bit of somewhat free press, I mean, with youtube and uh, rumble uh you know they haven't completely shut thing things down uh this is this is this is huge uh and by the way i mean this is this is how you win the heart hearts and minds of uh of of, of nations um this is this is this is a huge propaganda video and i, I tell you i i you know i pleaded with our government to end the sanctions on syria it'd be a wonderful gesture uh, and I think that would put the U.S. in a in a an incredibly uh, good light in the world. But uh, of course, the warmongering the the the, well, the eco terrorist warmongering Democrats would never do that. I'm, that's my new label for them. <laughs> Showing the uh, Russians handing out food to the Syrians after the earthquake. As you know, 33,000 people died and the United States does nothing. We are the most evil nation on the world according to Russia and the world. I think they're starting to feel that way. Boy, I tell you, if the Biden administration was a communist agent, they have certainly damaged the United States in ways I can't even imagine. Our image is just gone at this point. Afghanistan pull out. Blowing up the Nord Stream pipeline. Oh, shit. And this is what the world is seeing of Russia? Nothing but happy faces, huh? People in Syria, they love Russia. Everybody loves Russia. Okay, so we got that one out of the way. This is another one uh, Russia put out today. This is like, uh, all right, well, you know, of course we know Justin Trudeau, that freaking totalitarian idiot that's in charge of Canada. Let's just watch what his his country's doing uh, to support Russia. Oh, she's going to hug the war terrorist. Vladimir Zelensky. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we love you. We love you. Yeah, you're killing all your people. And you're going to leave Ukraine with a ton of money in a suitcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All you guys, you're gonna all be rich living in Morocco. That's where they're all gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But Canada, they're gonna cozy up with them. I wonder what these leaders are gonna say after the fact. I, I'm sure they'll be a tremendous amount of spin on all of this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Canada. Give us more weapons, give us more ammunition. Love you, Vladimir Wazelinski. Your, your people are dying by the thousands every day. You keep throwing them into the gauntlet. By the way, Bakhmut's about to fall. Uh, let's just keep going. So, boy, I hate to be so cynical. I, I just, I, I, I like to be a good person. Oh, this is, this was interesting. This was pretty cool. This is, uh, this is destroyed. Uh, uh, NATO uh, weapon systems. The Russians wanted to put this on display. Let's check this one out. This is our taxpayer dollars at work. This is what the Russians like to show. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's it. That's Russian. That's U U.S. hardware. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? This is. I thought this was beautiful because I. Uh, I tell you, if you're in a wartime situation, I mean, I know I wouldn't want the dog to die, but it's it would be great to have a dog as a companion, just to just to hang out with. And I'm sure well, that's these pro these soldiers probably found this dog in some city that they were uh, marching through and they adopted him as a as their mascot um and i'm going to tell you uh, we had a, a lizard uh, or actually an iguana over in uh, iraq that we adopted as a mascot and uh, and then some idiot and i you know i'm a marine but some idiot marines i was told i don't know this for sure but they killed the iguana for just out of spite i mean it was who would do something like that? Of course, I'm not going to even show this. This is this is a cache of. It says Ukrainian militants. I don't even understand this, but I think this is showing chemical weapons that they found, but I don't know that for sure. So that's not even worth uh, my coverage. Um, uh, and let's just keep going here. Uh, oh, and this is horrible. Now, and, and okay, you could say that this is Russian propaganda, right? Um, but they're doing a very effective job, and they're doing a much better job than the United States. Where are these videos on our mainstream media? Where are the videos about what's taking place in uh, Ukraine? Uh, these are see, being seen by the rest of the world. I understand that. Okay, uh, and so if, if, if they want me to come up and be the propagandist for the United States, well, number one, we need to start acting uh, as not a criminal nation, and number two, you know, I can start putting together videos like this about Russian war crimes. But this this is this is horrible. This this shows that well anyway, these are supposedly Ukrainian soldiers burying one of their own soldiers in a pit because uh, well they well I'll just let you watch the video. <coughs> The Ukrainian soldiers uh, bury him. One uh, of their soldiers alive. Because they call the Russians the orcs. That's what they call the Russians, by the way, if you didn't understand that. Okay, so maybe, maybe he tried to run. It's probably a conscript, just wanted to get the hell out of the way. And they're going to bury him alive, according to Russia. Now, I'm not saying this is real. I don't know. But this is the propaganda going around the world. This is the propaganda going around the world. So you make of it what you will. Try to enlarge that just a little bit. So anyway, that's it for today. I always try to go around Russian television and show you what's going on. Uh, oh, yeah. And, of course, this is that idiot um, saying... Uh, the stupid things that he just said, which he basically admitted that, well, wait, let's just watch this for two seconds. I'm sure this is the video where he admits that the West and NATO has been arming Russia since 2014. And this is probably the, I haven't even watched this video. I'm just going to predict what this is about. This is the video where he admits that 
NATO and the United States has been arming Russia for a war against Russia since 2014. So let's just watch. 22 seconds. It didn't start in February last year. The war started in 2014. And since 2014, NATO allies have provided support to Ukraine with training, with equipment. Uh, so the Ukrainian armed forces were much stronger uh, uh, in 2022 than they were in, 2020, uh, in 2014. And of course, that made a huge difference when uh, President Putin uh, decided to attack Ukraine. These fucking NATO idiots. Holy shit. So, boy, I, I, well, I'm not going to reverse the phone. I won't, I won't even put my ugly face on here. But do you understand that he just admitted <laughs> that we've been at war with Russia since 2014? Holy moly, that's it for this video. I'm going to put this one up and, uh, and then call it a night. I, I hope you watched my, uh, my previous video on the, uh, the uh, destruction of uh, Ohio. Um, I hope those people someday get retribution, but uh, the, many of them are going to die. It's Ch Chernobyl in the United States and the Biden, well, the, the war, the eco-terrorist, warmongering Democrats, uh, Biden administration certainly doesn't care. Peace out, stay free. And of course, uh, Buttigieg, uh, your gay, uh, uh, um, uh, that's all he was hired on for your transportation secretary. Uh, he doesn't care. Hadn't even visited the site. Who knows? I, I, maybe he's back with his twins, uh, feeding them with bottles and, uh, and hanging out with his gay brother. Peace out. Stay free.